Hello my virtual friends, my modular friends too. I'm very very happy to show you something new today. It's been a long time, four months, I was very very busy. But uh, I'm gonna release a few videos uh, about tricks uh, for the Moog Mother. You know it's one of my favorite synth, uh, semi-modular synth. And uh, I'm gonna use something very cool. It's the Korg SQ1. Um, okay. You all did love my past videos about adding VCOs to the Moog. Uh, we're gonna use that trick. I'm gonna add two VCOs to uh, the Moog, to a sequence running. And I'm gonna use the SQ1 to control CV parameters and uh, in fact I'm gonna use the SQ1 as a parameter locking. Uh, it's a bit complex to explain but uh, I'm gonna show you. I got a sequence running here, it's in MIDI so... This sequence is using uh, the square wave uh, of the VCO, uh, the Moog Mother, and uh, I'm gonna add a A110 VCO by Dopfer. Okay, and I will plug the output of that little boy in the mix one. Okay. I'm gonna use uh, the keyboard out, goes into the multiplier, and in the CV2, I'm gonna put it here. Okay, it's a simple multiplier, uh, and I connect the CV out of the uh, standard VCO by Dopfer into that multiplier. Uh, which is connected to the keyboard outside of the Moog. Uh, it's just to tune that VCO. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put the output of the VC mix here into the external audio. We can listen. Standard VCO, I can change the range. We can listen the two VCOs together. Okay, it's fun, but it's uh, just like my past videos about adding VCOs, nothing very complex. I'm gonna use uh, uh, another VCO. I'm gonna use the braid, so the output of the braid uh, is going into the mix 2, okay, and I'm gonna tune that VCO with the keyboard out of the Moog. So, just listen. This is the VCO job for this is the braid. Cool. I can tune it differently. This is together braids and the dub for VCO and the third one is the Moog. Cool sequence, no? have more fun, I'm gonna use something very special. I'm gonna use the Korg SQ1. When I turn the mix button here, I have the choice between braids and the Dopfer VCOs. Okay, but I'm gonna automate 
this little button with the Quark SQ1. I'm gonna take the outside of the mix control, put it into the CVA of that boy, and I'm gonna take the gate out of the Moog and connect it to the gate in of the Quark SQ1. Okay. No, all the buttons of the SQ1 are on the left side. It means that if I run the sequence and I'm using just the dope fur with the braids, okay, so the mix is on the external input. It's gonna get like this. If I automate this, I have the dope fur. Here I have braids. I have the two ones. I can change the parameters here. Everything at the right side. And, me, and go playing. Okay, on the right side of that boy, I have the braids. First four steps, I'm gonna use the dog fur. Wow! Very cool, no? It's a sort of parameter looking, modular parameter looking for the Moog mother. And if I want, I can add my third VCO, this is the one of the movie. For more fun, I'm gonna use math, and I'm gonna use math as an envelope generator for the filter cutoff. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit punchy. Wow, very cool! Just a mix between top fur and braid. And a mix with the physio of the mother. Just one thing, if the volume is a little bit low, lower for the braids, I can use math on one channel of math, for example, channel 2 of math, as an attenuator to increase the volume of that boy. Okay, mix 2. I mix third VCOs. Okay, I can change my sequence and add drums. Yeah, very cool. Just a move VCO. With math as a new version. And the three VCOs. Changing the sequence. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have questions, you can ask me questions on, the, on my uh, YouTube channel. And it's gonna be the first video uh, of a um, sequence of uh, maybe five or six videos with little tricks for the Moog mother. Um, it's, it's my best sense, it's my favorite sense. Okay, 
Um, I was very, very happy to do this video. Don't, don't hesitate to ask me questions if you want to know something. Bye-bye. Hope to see you soon.